So listen to this story. It's a very beautiful story which you can take home from here, and it is from the world of leadership. There was this king in China. The king was a very famous king. He was known for his wisdom. He was known for his decisions. People used to blindly follow this king, and nobody knew why. But he had some energy. The way he used to manage the entire kingdom was exemplary. Over a period of time, the king fell ill one day. The doctors were treating the king, and suddenly, when the subjects came to know that Raja Hamara Bimar hai, people started discussing. Are you here? What will happen after this king? Because his son, a very young guy, the so-called prince, जो भी आपको बोलना है, we don't think he is capable of managing a kingdom like this. So there was this rumor around, discussion around. So one day the minister, the king's famous favorite minister, came and said. Look, I know you are not well, but still I wish to discuss few things with you. There is this discussion happening in our kingdom that after you, who will be the successor? And they don't find your son to be one hundred percent eligible for this. So the king says, "Thank you. You brought this to me at least. You made me aware that there is a question mark in my subjects." So the king decides to call his son and says, "Come and meet me." The son comes. The father says, "Look, one day or the other, you will have to take the throne. I want you to be complete in terms of a leader. Why don't you go and finish off?" your final leadership lessons from the master from whom i learned which master there is a zen master in the forest he never comes into this normal lifestyle i will inform him to give you lessons of life go and learn from him and if he teaches you the final lessons of life then i'm all confident that you will be able to run this kingdom in the best possible way the son says I have been taught by many teachers here. In fact, more number of teachers than you had in your life. कितना पढ़ाने का? How much? Father says, now this is my command. Follow this. Now he has no other choice, so he decides to go into the jungle. The father has given a very brief description about how to reach the master. This guy takes his horse. He takes a baggage. I told you in the morning about knowledge. The moment you add those knowledge, it also becomes a part of your ego. So the boy is already assuming that he knows lot many things. अब क्या add करना है? Now he goes deep into the jungle. He is riding his horse. Nowhere is he able to see the Zen master. Deep inside, deep inside. no sight of the master he almost crosses the jungle and when he crosses the jungle there is a big mountain huge mountain and on the route on the base of the mountain there is a small hut he takes his horse towards the hut and by the time he reaches the hut a very old zen monk comes out He looks at this young chap and he smiles and says, "Oh, you have come. I was informed that you will be coming." So he says, "I am the son of the king." He says, "I am aware of it." So this guy is in a hurry. So he says, "Give me the final lessons so that I can take up leadership. I can develop more people." So the master says, "Oh, it's simple. It's easy." 
do one thing don't be in a hurry go into this particular jungle go into this particular forest and come back and tell me what is the sound of the forest ordinary intelligence he jumps onto this particular horse rides into the forest and he starts listening to the sounds lot many sounds in the evening he comes back to the master and tells the master i heard the sound of the forest so the master said what did you hear he says what a beautiful sound so many sounds the sound of the sparrows the sound of the birds the sound of the animals i could hear the roar of a lion i could hear the howling of an ox i could in fact hear the movements of the snakes in fact i could hear everything very clearly the master looks at this particular young boy and says no you have not heard the sound of the forest go back and once again come and tell me what is the sound of the forest now according to the normal intelligence of this particular prince he had heard everything so while he is going once again into the forest he is asking kya sunu abhi isme se zyada what does the old man want sab kuch explain kiya in fact i had a long list these 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 sounds i have heard so clearly aur kya chahiye but obviously he also comes from a wise background he says kuch na kuch hoga something is there so let me just once again give my ears the first night he spends in the in the forest more or less the sounds are the same nothing new ab kare to kya kare he says i'll not go back the next day morning he wakes up again to listen to the sound of the forest nothing new wahi chirping sounds birds ke sounds now he says there should be something beyond this he fights with himself days passes he is not able to hear anything beyond what he was able to hear before but he says i'll fight there is something no doubt about it and that's the reason why my father wants me to learn the basics let me let me five days six days seven days he keeps on focusing on the sound of the forest and then one fine morning he wakes up in peace and when he listens to the sound he has a graceful smile and he gets back on his horse rides towards the master master sees this guy coming he gets down from his horse the way he is walking is different now the way he is looking at the master is different looks like pride has disappeared he has en- encountered he has experienced something very different so he comes to the master and bows in front of the master and says master i think i have heard the sound of the forest language has changed he is not confirm yet he says i think i heard the sound of the forest the master says what did you hear he says when i went beyond my ordinary thoughts when i focused on to the-